Hi everyone, I'm Pafu Yang. I'm in the parking lot of Wayzata High School where an organization called We Are Wayzata Strong is filling up a semi-truck with food. And I have Jason Litke here with me. He's with that organization. Jason, can you tell me more about what you guys are doing here? Yeah, you know, it just started out with uh, three dads that were over a happy hour wanting to do something good for the community. And uh, we have lots of great friends and lots of great local sponsors. And the idea really just took hold. And look at how the what a great turnout it's been so far. And we're just super appreciative of uh, uh, the local community pitching in to help IOCP as well as Frogtown in St. Paul. And how much donations have you guys already gotten? Well, we've already got five pallets on the truck. Our hope is to fill it out with 24 or 26 pallets. We've got another 12 here and another five that are coming. So we're going to be really close, but we'd love to see more people keep coming down. Where are the donations going? The donations are going to uh, IOCP down here in Plymouth and then also to Frogtown in St. Paul to help out local families. Okay, and what kind of donations are you guys looking for? We're looking for toiletries, diapers, canned foods, uh, breakfast food foods, toiletries, anything that can help support the local families. I think all of us are relatively fortunate around the community, but there's a lot of people in need right now and we just want to help. Can you tell me more about who's all here helping? Yeah, it's 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 a great collection of people. We've got kids that represent YZ from all classes, so freshmen all the way through graduating seniors. We've got local associations represented, local businesses, and then a lot of just parents that care a lot about helping the local community. And we'll have all that information on our website, CC CCXmedia.org. Reporting in Plymouth, Pafua Yang, CCX News. Find more local news stories at CCXmedia.org and follow us on social media.